All right, guys, it's Test Drive time again here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. This is a 1977 Chevrolet Camaro. This one's got the 396 under the hood. It does have power brakes. It does not have power steering. Aluminum radiator. Be nice to have a fan trail. Of course, I like taking them down the road, pointing out flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. Detailed pictures on all of our rides. Financing and shipping is available. You can get pre-approved. And then you get be pre-approved for up to 30 days. That'll work out good for you because we get 60 cars a month. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video. I'm here to pick out the flaws. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. we leave we'll look around the interior and check some stuff out I did notice our emergency brake is not gonna stay up so that lights gonna stay on kind of like a brake light I have to like tie it up or it just keeps coming back down check our pedals out down here it's like the brake pedal needs a new sleeve there coming across the dash you do got a little crack here you got a tack show you the mileage Showing 83,000. Look at cracking our windshield there. Carpet, a little boogered up here. It's in good shape though. Carpet looks good and the seats are not terrible. There is some little spots on the side here and some spots on the driver's seat that we'll be going over here shortly. Headliner definitely needs a headliner. Let's start this one up now. Give it a little gas here. Of course, that brake light's on. Let's pull the brake up. You can see it cut off. And as soon as I let it go, see if we can get both in the shot. It cuts right back on. We've got water temperature that is coming up and working. We've got oil pressure. It's only on the 10 pound side. Of course, you rev it, it jumps up to 20. No radio in this one that I see. A few things in the glove box. Switches, I'll be checking out throughout the test drive to see what's going on. Ashtray, turn signals, they are popping up on the dash there. Right side, the bulb is not blinking. Blower motor, nothing. Blower motor's out on this one. Horn, did you place your bets? Let's try it out. Nope, she ain't hooked up. All right, guys, get that back together. We're gonna hit the road and see what else we can find. Here we go, guys. We gotta go to the gas station for sure. This one here is Oni. This is the first time I've taken it down the road. It does have a spool in the back, the lockers. Chirp, chirp, chirp as I turn. Engine temperature's up, no power steering. We're checking our brakes. Brakes could be better. They're stopping. It's a little bit of a stiff pedal, and I feel like it's the motor pulling the vacuum out of it. Uh, with that being said, I want to check and see, you know, all the little connectors are tight, not cracked. We'll be looking through all that stuff as we go on the video here. Really, really low gear ratio. Steering wheel is not perfectly straight, but the car is going straight as an arrow down the road. The steering is actually pretty tight. Those brakes, they feel okay now. We 
got the vacuum back. Back in our throttle. Got a hesitation from the carb when I got into the throttle. We'll start off with a little bit of gas. Then we're going to get some outside shots, some undercarriage shots. And we'll continue this video. Idle super low. It cut off by itself just then. Alright, I'll be back. Okay. So it was very low on fuel. Um, I went ahead and put like $35 in here. I wanted to put about 8 gallons or so. I'm going the wrong way here too. There we go. You can see it now. Which I like a lot better. This one probably have a hard time leaking out. So the shipper trucks usually uh they usually get mad if it's over a quarter tank but they can't in this it's a closed fuel cell so they'll be all right let's go ahead and open this one up we can see if the gauge works kind of don't feel like it does but we'll find out here in a second get a little gas come on Load it up a little bit. Bye. Right. Nope. Gas gauge does not work, guys. All right, let's keep rolling. Let's walk this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. You see some spots on this front bumper. It's all boogered up. A lot of extra wax. It's like tape on the light. scratches here a lot of extra wax on this car little spots there stickers look good
back your midsection. Stain in the paint there. Big old chunk missing from the corner of the door. How's it going? chip there back over the top Got a dent right here so much wax on this car little spots around your mirror Extra wax. White specks there, there. Coming around the back here. Spots up in the corner. Spot on the bubble, bumper. <laughs> it's all good. the back here coming down this side now some of your stripes are coming off split there Somebody must have just put on these stickers because they're kind of peeling up. Some spots the there. You got some little cracks here. Scratch there on the side. Self tappers have put on this bumper here, unfortunately. You use self tappers. Huh. There's holes for that. <laughs> Little white specks are all over the car. specs here and there a lot of wax around the door handles this door handle is you got to pull up on it hard to get the door to open too Spot there. The seal's okay. It's older, a little crumbly. It's okay. You got some bubbles right there on your pillar. A little haziness up here on top of the fender.
Let's look over the front windshield. Big old crack right here. get those keys. I haven't opened the trunk before. Probably will during the test drive, but I started out with the walk around. Haven't actually done the test drive yet. May seem like I did, but I just reversed the video. Got some rust back here in the trunk. See how the edge of the trunk is eat up? That's why I look at those edges. Well, the rest of it looks pretty good. It's just right here in the edge on the driver's side. Somebody has tried to clean it up and paint it. I didn't feel it. Battery. Needs a battery tray. Loose in the trunk. It's holding it tight, but it's loose. Fuel cell. Patch. Package tray does not look bad. Let's see if I can get you up in here. May have just fixed the tail light here. Looks like that booger fell out. There it is. It's locked in too. Cool. Let's come on down with the trunk lid now. Hold up. No weather stripping. Looking in our jams. Needs weather stripping. Come on down now. It locks good. It's got a good spring too. All right, we're getting ready to check out the interior, guys. So let's see what we can find. Again, barely pulling it. Pull it, pull it, pull it, and it'll open. Missing some little trim pieces here. Little spot there, crack. Got some spots up here, seats torn a little bit. Little wrinkles in the middle there on that seat. Package tray's got a little bit of sun damage. Headliner, there is no headliner. It needs one. Sticky on the dash there, ain't it? Carpet's ripped here. All right. No power steering there. Brake light is on.
a fan cloud. Coming on down with the hood here. He shut down a little bit off. They go crack there. Chip. Wax, man. This stuff is burnt on there. It's come off on enough scrubbing, that's for sure. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and share this video. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping available at maplemotors.com. I'll see you in the next one. Later.